uh, there is no experience inside us, including the sense uh, or the experience of regret, no feeling of regret or anything. No, there is no experience inside us which can cause suffering to us. Okay. So it is not that the, when the sense of regret happening inside us, that then we will suffer, meaning that we will stop experiencing joy or the bliss of our own being. No, not at all. No, they coexist. The joy, the bliss of being is experienced by us while the feeling of regret is existing inside us. Inside, inside that, that joyful, blissful being that we are. Then what causes suffering here in this situation? It is our unrealistic demand towards it. That causes us to stop somehow, like kind of frozen in a way, that we stop living ourselves. No? That unrealistic demand, no? that it should not be so. One thing I, I feel, uh, based on my experience, that duality is not really something real in one sense. No. But dual, dual, duality is more an more outlook no? towards the same one being or one, one life. No? And we continue enjoying it. No? Like we divide it in so many different ways in, the, in our mind. No? And we continue enjoying it. No? And once the suffering begins, suffering basically is an indication that you, the soul, is not enjoying the division created by you and being maintained by you. No? Then let go of that now. No? There is no, no way we need to find back home. We don't need to find a way back home. We just have to let go of that division which gave us joy. And now it is the cause of suffering. Same thing. No? Now we let go of it into more non-dual one state of being and experiencing. No? And for some of you here, I feel very mm, blessed to, to have you in, in this meeting. Yet for some of you, even the slightest sense of separation is not bearable to you now. You feel, I don't want even this much. No? And you are going to let go of that because it is you who is maintaining it. It doesn't exist in the existence as such. The duality does not exist in the existence as such. Multiplicity exists in the existence, not the duality, no? Duality being the separate self existing in the separate forms, no? That is not true. So we basically we are returning somehow from the dividedness to the more undividedness from the non-dual, from the dualistic experience to the non-dual reality, beyond the experience of it. No? And non-dual non experience also happening, obviously. No? Like the experience of oneness. You know, what is the experience of oneness? You know? Oneness means one being. And this will continue, basically. This is just going to continue. This is how we are returning home, in a way. And we can, we can try to understand again and again what is letting go. In different contexts it could be different. But here, for example, let go means let go of what you are maintaining. And see what is the reality which is not being maintained by you. That who we are is that which is not being maintained by us. Everything else, everything that we experience is being maintained by us only in one way or the other. No? Meaning, the ingredients have been provided by the existence. But the dish was created by us. The temperature was set by us only. You know, we were the cook of what we experienced or we are experiencing today. Ingredients provided by existence, the five elements, no? and the three gunu, no? so, tam, tam, tamas, rajas, and sattva. No? So all these eight things are the, are the ingredients. No? And we are making a dish out of it, all of us, no? And experiencing it, no? What do I experience when I don't do anything, no? That is the 
the thing, no? That is truth, uncreated, unmaintained, no? Slowly we, we, we all will come to it, no? I feel. So I'm just sharing in general if it can help somebody and can kind of, you know, attract, inspire, inspire some, somebody to, to look more deeply that is it not true? Thank you. Uh, Deepa, you want to talk? Namaste, Ranji. Namaste. Thank you so much for sharing all your love. And I completely relate to you where, you know, it's like playing roles in life and choosing which part you want to play. And along with it, you know, also being known for the fact that it's a play. So, yeah, like, though you get caught up at times, but then, you know, you just come out of it and see it's a play. And you just start enjoying it. You yeah. laugh at it at some times, but then, you know, it's not real. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah. I, I heard no, all the uh, all the actors no, in the movies, and they, they give interview and they tell that this this role was so intense that I had to go through a detoxing of like one month or something. No. Yeah, everybody does this. No. It's just that the role that we are playing, we have forgotten that we are playing this role and we are something separate from it. That's the only thing that has happened. No, the awakening part is realizing this truth. No. And Plus, plus, I say, plus detoxing also, no? Like a daily detoxing meditation. Prabhat Shuddhi is basically daily detoxing of the previous roles, no? Like the effect of that, that, that sense that we adopted. You know, when we express ourselves in a certain way, we adopt a certain feeling or state also, no? Inside us, connected to that, so that it is more real in a way for us and more real for others with to whom or with whom we express. But that has to be drained out in a way detoxed in a way, no, from inside us every day. Otherwise, it accumulates like many different flavors get accumulated inside us, no. That's why when we experience ourselves, we feel, oh, I'm experiencing emptiness. Not at all. Emptiness is a relative declaration that I'm not experiencing anything, any flavor. True. We are not experiencing any flavor that we experience when we play a role, no? because we are not playing a role any, uh, right now. No? So we almost have forgotten how it tastes for me to be who I am when I'm not playing the role, no? which we discover slowly in meditation also, you know, like here, right now we are. So I think your, your understanding is very clear, very good. It really is as simple, um, Deepa, as you are understanding. And we can make some something so big and Sometimes even complicated out of it. Although it is the fundamental truth of life, so it's so significant, but it's not difficult. It is most important, but not difficult, meaning not complicated. It is simple. It's like scaling, scaling, no? Try to understand the scaling. In itself, it is very fundamental and very simple and very small, but when it scales no? to a bigger level, it looks like, oh my God, where to start and how to solve things. No? It's like zooming in and zooming out. Yes, yes, yes. Very, yeah. very good. Meditation is zooming mm, out in a way. Not doing anything basically means do not make effort to keep zooming in. We need to make effort to keep zooming in. If we don't make effort, we will start zooming out without effort. And we come to that level of being where we find ourselves to be a more holistic witness of all that is happening. You know, as a whole, you know, as a whole, which does not exclude anything of body, mind, thoughts, journey, past, present, future. The whole thing is in front of, in front of us, you know like a central witness or central awareness self, you know. And then we cannot go deeper than that anymore, you know. 
there is no deeper than that anymore. And, and then we somehow sense that, oh yes, this is my home. You know? So this zooming out is very natural uh, through meditation, dhyan, no? also. Fundamental meditation. No? And it, it is as if we are caught up in a circle of zooming out. No? We are caught up in a circle of zooming out. What we call circle of ego mind is the circle of zooming out. For one reason or the other, we just keep zooming into the detailing. No? Uh, we feel stress also, we feel detailing also, we feel many new things are being known by us, although the fundamental truth is same. And we are somehow not able to get out of that compulsive zooming in. No? And we can learn slowly together. No? Because if one can has done it, the other can do it also. Because we all are the same, same self. You know, my heart becomes so f- over full of joy when I speak like this. Because it is true. We all are the same self. So it's not really some somebody teaching somebody. No. It is the self uh, living the truth of the self together with the self. No. That's why it is so effortless and uh, apt in a way. Somehow it fits so well together. Thank you so much, Ji. Thank you. Thank you.